All right, today we're going to talk about tying your boat up to the dock so that it doesn't drift away in the middle of the night. As you arrive at the dock, you'll see generally one of these options, either a post, a cleat, a ring, or some variation of one of these. And you don't usually have your choice, so you have to know how to tie to any of these. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie the stern of our boat, the back of the boat, before the front. And this is so that we can position the boat the way we want it, parallel to the dock, close to the dock but not tight to it. And once we get that tied, then we'll tie the bow of the boat up. First thing you want to do is check to make sure that the rope is actually attached with a secure knot to the boat. And we want to make sure and use the rope that's on the side of the boat closest to the dock. If there's only one rope and it's on the other side of the boat, untie it, move it over to the side next to the dock. Otherwise you'll have a line coming across the front of your motor and as the boat rocks that can do damage to the motor. So if we're working with a post, we're going to work with a part of the line that is an appropriate distance away to keep that boat close to the dock but not tight to it. The working end of the line is irrelevant. It's just going to be set aside and we're going to tie with the, a spot on the line that gives us the correct distance we want from the dock. First thing we're going to do, we're going to make just a closed loop. And with this closed loop, when we slip it over the post, the part that's on the bottom, the part that's being trapped, is the working end, the bitter end of the line, not the part that goes back to the boat. So we get that loop over there. We create one more closed loop. Similarly, the working end is the part that's trapped. Put it over the post. At this point, you should recognize that as a clove hitch. If you need to adjust your distance at this point in time, it's easily done with a clove hitch. Just shuffle the rope along like this. You can add more slack to the boat, or you can pull it the other way and get the boat a little tighter to the dock, whatever you want. Last thing we're going to do is stack one more of these loops on top. Once again, the working end is trapped underneath. It doesn't matter if you make it in the other direction, the loop goes the other way, as long as the working end is trapped underneath. There's the part that's attached to the boat, and you can see that that's not going to go away in the middle of the night. This knot, uh, secure in itself, and it's fine, but if you want to fuss, if you're going away for a couple of weeks from your boat and you want to fuss and add a little more security, just tie a couple of half hitches on a bite, just like that. Give yourself more security. So once again, find the appropriate spot on the rope where your boat is the appropriate distance from the dock, parallel to the dock, close to it but not tight to it. You're going to make a loop where the working end or the bitter end is trapped, put that over the post. Make another closed loop where the working end or bitter end is trapped, put that over the post. There you see your clove hitch. and do that one more time and what we've done essentially is we've stacked three half hitches on a post. That same series of knots will come into play when you're tagging your fish. The ultimate finish of tagging the fish is to stack three half hitches in that same manner thinking about trapping the bitter end or the working end underneath. If you do it the other way and you create your loop but your bitter end or your working end is on top then you don't actually create a, a knot, you've just wrapped your rope around the post is all. So the bitter end or working end always is the part that gets trapped underneath. And that's it for the post. Moving on to the cleat. First thing we're going to do is create a full round turn with the rope around the base of the cleat like that show you that again if you take a rope and you pull it back towards yourself that's a half round turn carry it on again that's a full round turn the rope is traveling in this direction goes around the object carries on that's a full round turn after that we're going to make a figure eight by crossing the center going under the wing cross the center again go under this wing and there we've created a figure eight now to finish 
this. We're just going to create a locking loop. Palm up, two fingers under the rope. Give it a twist with this thumb coming towards you. And you can see once again I've got a closed loop and the bitter end or the working end of the rope is this part here that's going to be trapped underneath. Now it's trapped. This is a standing part of the rope that goes to your boat and it is secure. So once again around the cleat, one full round turn around the cleat, cross the center under the wing, cross the center under the wing, back to center, create your locking loop, you got palm up, two fingers under, thumb's going to come towards you, there's your locking knot right there. Once again we didn't work with the end of the rope, we just worked with the rope where it was appropriate to position the boat at the right spot from the dock. Similarly, we're going to do the same thing with this ring. We're going to create a bite. The bite, it's just creating an end of a rope essentially wherever we want to create an end. We want to tie right here. We're going to fold the rope in half and this is essentially the end that we're going to tie with. So the bite goes through the ring and comes back towards us. Half round turn. At this point, I'm going to drop the working end of the rope. That's irrelevant to what we're doing now. I've got the bite. I've got the standing part of the rope, cross the bite over the standing part of the rope or under, doesn't matter which way, and then you've created a loop here, you're going to put that right back through the loop you've created. Once again, you can cross it over, under, doesn't matter which way you go, put it through the loop you've created, and then do that a third time. There is half round turn, three half hitches on a bite to secure your boat a ring. If you want a little extra security, if you're going away for a while, the way for this knot to untie is for this loop, this bite, to pass under these two strands. And if you want to prevent that from happening, reach through the loop, pull the bitter end of the rope through there. Now you got a bit of a lock that doesn't allow that loop to go backwards through there. So let's tie that one one more time. Once again, appropriate spot on the rope where I want to tie off, make a bite. This is something you can always adjust. You put it through, you don't like it, you make it a little different in a different spot. Got my bite, drop the working end. Make sure you give yourself lots of rope on this bite, don't make it short. Cross under the rope or over, one half hitch. Once again, another half hitch and then a third half hitch. So three half hitches on a bite. That's all you need to secure your boat onto a onto a ring. And now that we've done this, now we're going to go up and use these same series of knots, whatever fastener you have to attach to, to attach the bow of the boat to the dock.